in writing for string quartet, nothing is actually wrong unless it's not what you want to hear. This next example you will hear four different ways. The Sarconi Quartet was given a piece of music that has no markings on it at all. No uh, tempo marking, no articulation, no dynamics. And as with most string players, they will choose a way that they will try to interpret the music to play it. So let's hear four different ways they're going to interpret this piece. And at the fifth way, they will show what the composer actually intended, and we'll see if it's close or not. Um, so first of all, let's try um, something upbeat like crotchet 140, nervous energy. Um, so the, the shorter notes are more articulated of the string and um, a quiet dynamic, piano, mezzo, piano. Now, can we try a little bit more Mysterioso with Sulpont? Now I'm going to get us to do it a bit slower, very melancholic, the first five bars, then massive outburst, and then back to melancholy, and pits your last three crotchets. And it's going to go uh, one, Now, can we try one where everything is, um, so we can do everything slurred. So I'll slur my minims, and can we try the, the triplets all slurred? So it's all, yada, 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 a bit faster than we were just doing. Yeah. Quite like that pit scart at the end. So sort of, yeah, sort of more like blossom mm -hmm. on a spring day. You have heard now four different interpretations of this plain music they've received, and it's so different to the sound of the full part, the cello they used. Now they've just been handed what the composer originally intended, and let's see how it sounds.